All right, showing gratitude for what you do in business can make you a happier person and can help your business be successful. Raise those pinkies because today we're speaking with Agent 33 from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Maya Stojan, to help show you how to be more grateful in life. Presented by Advertise Mint. The Duke of Digital will guide you through the rapidly changing landscape of digital marketing, social media, and how to grow your business online. To submit a question for the show, text 323-821-2044 or visit dukeofdigital.com. If you need an expert to fix your ads, the friendly team at Advertise Mint is ready to help. Visit AdvertiseMint, that's M-I-N-T, dot com, or call 844-236-4686 to grow your business. Here's your host, Brian Miet. All right, I have to be honest, I am geeking out a lot now uh, because we have Maya Stojin here today to interview uh, and speak with. I'm I'm so excited to have you here, Maya. I am so honored to be here. I I couldn't be happier. Okay, so I I want to do my best to do an introduction uh, from what I know uh, from you know how we've talked. But you are a producer. You're an actress. You were born in Switzerland on a ski slope. I don't know if that. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, on I don't a, know, sc- I don't know <laughs> on a ski slope true, in the Alps, <laughs> eating chocolate. <laughs> I don't know yep. if those those parts are true, but <laughs> I would imagine they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's rumors that you can speak in French. Is that true? That is my first language. Oh, yes. you have to. You, oh, I'm gonna try that again, and, but you have to speak answer in French. Ah, d'accord. Okay. Oh, there. Oh, she did. So there's rumors you can speak in French. Bah oui, bien sûr. C'est uh, ma première langue. Oh, that's so amazing. I can't speak <laughs> no languages except for English, and I'm only like 50-50 on that one. <laughs> uh, okay, so you have been in. Grey's Anatomy, NCIS, Castle, but the part that I geek out the most on is that you are Agent 33 from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's the truth. Uh, okay, so you, th- this was on, for anyone that doesn't know, this is the, the, it's a TV program with Marvel, and you were on for several seasons during the time when Captain America, Winter Soldier came out, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, all of these. So this is in the Marvel, like it's already become big and it's on the way to becoming massive. And you were right there in the middle of it. I I was, I was, I was in the thick of it. I'm, I, I think that's something that'll never leave me. Just the fact that I'm a Marvel character, yeah, you know, I mean, that, I, that is pretty, that's like, is that not like on every actors or actresses bucket list now like that's when you've made it might it. be i mean it definitely it, I, I wouldn't even say it definitely was on mine i actually grew up very much loving the comic book world yeah. and though i will say my favorite was batman so kind of clashing there that's with the with dc world but um yeah no i i've i've always you know aspired to be a superhero even though i'm i'm you know in in um agents of shield i am Far from a superhero, actually. I'm. I was evil, brainwashed into good, and oh, sorry, the opposite. I was actually good, brainwashed into evil. It happens. So. I can imagine <laughs> as that's happening, a lot of things are getting mixed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was. It was great. Yeah, it was I've incredible. seen. I've seen you with Instagram stories where you're at Comic Con on panels and the craziness. So yeah, um, it's exciting to have you here. And you know what's what's crazy? Wait, so wait, let me finish up. You have also a Netflix movie or film that's coming out in yes. the future, is that right? Yes, I just finished shooting it about a week ago. Okay. And um, Can we talk about it, or is it on Hush Hush well, until it comes out? it's probably on Hush Hush okay. until it comes out, but it's it's definitely not a Christmas movie. Okay. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Um, well, so I want to make sure, did I miss anything? Is there anything else that I missed about? No, you're crushing it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I did yeah. feel like I'm, I've been doing pretty good so far, but... No, you've been doing great. Okay, now how... I want to make sure I get this um, taken care of. How do people find you or follow you or which social media platforms are you on so that people can be like, that's it. I love Maya Stojan as well. Well, um, you can definitely follow me on Instagram. Okay. It's Maya.Stojan, which is my last name. You want to spell that? S-T-O-J-A-N. There we go. Yes, um, and it's M-A-Y-A. Uh, yeah, 
Okay, so Instagram. That's, that's pretty Instagram's much it, honestly. One. I I do have a Twitter account. I do have a Facebook account, but I've sort of given up on them because I feel like now everything is on Instagram, pretty yeah, much. It is it is the big one, but um, God, I just recommend everyone go follow on all all of the ones you can find. You, Thank you. Yes. I'll take it. Perfect. I'll take it all. All right. So what I wanted to, the reason why I wanted to have you on the show is. We have uh, something in common, which is my wife and you are incredibly good friends. And yes. one of the areas that we've had conversations about multiple times that have, has blown my mind is the element of gratitude in life, in business, in acting. And I mean, I worked in entertainment for a while, so I was a around a lot of people in the industry. And I would say one thing that you generally don't see, uh, necessarily a lot of, especially th there's a grind to that business, it's show business, which is a lot of times a lot of work. And in that process of being around people in that grind as they work their way to where ultimately they're at the top, something that you generally don't see is you know, gra gratitude a lot of times. Like it's tough for, you know, whether you're an, you're an actor, actress, or growing a business, you know, you're aspiring to be at a certain level. And as you do those steps, it's, I call it the jungle. Like you're going through a jungle and stuff's hitting you in the face and bugs are at you and you're, you're trying to find your way through a, a, a scenario that you're not familiar with trying to find, you know, wins and, and things like that. So you just, you, you have, we began to have discussions and, and you said that you have been practicing gratitude daily for the past eight years. I have, it's the truth. Okay. So this is, and, and I want to be able to un, like, or I guess, tell the story behind this. So my wife knows you and I had never met you. And she says, hey, we're going to a party out in Calabasas. It's a masquerade party. It's like a couple houses down from the Kardashians. Um, I don't remember if it was a birthday party or a Halloween party. Yeah, it, but was, it was a birthday party. It was a party, birthday party. Yeah. Um, so we go there. And as we're in the car, I'm like, tell me about some of your friends that will be there. Because I hadn't met any of her friends yet. It was when we first started you know, uh, dating and we're together. And she starts going down a list. And she's like, oh, and then there is Maya. <laughs> I was like, okay. And she's like, Maya's an actress. She's on TV um, and she does magic. And I was like, oh, cool, like David Copperfield. And she's like, no. And so then <laughs> in, the, in the car, I think, all right, so she's, uh, she studied at Hogwarts, like she's <laughs> Harry Potter, like what are, we, what are we talking? And I didn't say it because I, I didn't want to, you know, make, make a joke or, you know, say something about a friend. So I was like, yeah, I just kind of let it go. So I think when I first met you, we were talking and I was like, all right, let's talk about this magic thing. Like what's... What is that? And you're like, what are you talking about? And then you're like, no, it's the magic. And I remember, you know, in LA. I love that you thought I was some kind of witch. Like a wizard <laughs> or something that you had some special powers. Like, let's go, uh, let's go cook some some uh, spells up or whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I, you never know in LA. No, so I was true. like, hey, cool, whatever you're into, um, yeah, let's do yep. it. But you were like, no, it's not um, magic. It's the magic. And that's when we began to have a conversation where you're like, there's a book called The Secret, which I love, by Rhonda, is yeah, it it's Barn? Rhonda Barn. Rhonda Barn. Rhonda Byrne. 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 Uh, <laughs> I should Which notice. is, you know, basically you want to think about what you think about be manifest in your life, which mm -hmm. I think is 100% true, you sure. know, where you focus your attention. And I had no idea that there was a second book. Maybe she has more. I don't even she know. She has more. Yeah, she, she has the oh. power. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, you blow my mind every time. So. <laughs> The magic is, was it her second book? Yes, I believe so. I think the power came after. Okay, so then you start to tell me about the magic, which is a book that's a 28-day journey of working through basically exercising your gratitude muscles. Yes. It would be a good, a good that's a great analogy definition. of yeah. getting into the habit of figuring out, you know, not or just speaking what you're grateful for. And they have every day you have another challenge you have to go through, another exercise. And it's a little more difficult than the day before, where it makes you think in new ways, right? Sure. I, I wouldn't necessarily say more difficult than the day before. I think they're all just so different. You know, it's apple and oranges, I yes. think, I, in a sense. Well, but I, I, I love that you called them challenges. Did you did you call them challenges? Yeah, like challenges, little tasks that yeah, you have to do. Yeah. But what happens no, it's is a good way to put it. It'd be like, pick your favorite color. And you're like, well, you know, blue. And then it's like, now pick a color that you love that isn't blue and explain why. And right. so what happens is the further you go away from things that you can't say anymore, no. it becomes oh. more difficult. Oh, I didn't even think of it yeah. that way. Yeah. Wow. So that's why I think- Maybe because I've done so many rounds, yes. I just don't even, 
it's yeah. So but it's true. It it was hard yes. at first. So Absolutely. and what's crazy is you have now said that you've gone through that twenty eight day journey. How many times? I am on my fifty seventh round right now. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is pretty wild. Yeah. And so I think from our conversations, and this is where what I want to do is I want to ask you some questions, sure, specifically in regards to gratitude, because I think. This is one of the fundamental principles that a lot of people struggle with, especially when they're in you know, difficult scenarios or you know in business or in life. I, I think it's just something that it's like putting you on the right path and sure. getting your head in a good place before you start going out where the world is going to be crazy and there's unknowns. So I have um, a couple of questions like, Walk us through the premise of the book in, in your perspective. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll state that the book has changed my life. I Before starting the book, I was very ungrateful. I thought I was grateful because I said thank you on the odd occasion. And, you know, I, if you opened the door for me, I would say thank you. But um, that's that wasn't living with gratitude. And this book taught me that. And I think... Just even going through one round, I was just in awe of the magic that happened because it really takes you on a deep level of feeling gratitude. And and that's the thing with gratitude. I think it, it truly is all about really feeling it in your heart because it's one thing to say thank you. I mean, we say thank you every day, right? But to genuinely feel the emotions and, and even you know, you can manifest through gratitude. And, and that's specifically why I chose to keep going for so long, because I started to see things in my life just happening before my very eyes. And that's one of the exercises is before your very eyes. And it's it's sort of creating a list um, to the universe or to any sort of higher power and really thanking that list as if it's already happened. So it's sort of like an order that you would do at the, yeah. re uh, you know, at the restaurant and, and choosing what you want in life. Now, how did the, how did it come to be the first time? I mean, there was Maya before the magic, right? What is the story that led you to, all right, I'm picking this up and I'm going to do the first. I'm so glad days. you asked. Um, Cause I, I forgot. And then just recently I remembered a, a friend of mine, actually brought it up to me in a conversation and you know it was casually over lunch and she had never done the book before but she said oh my friend does did this thing called the magic and then I you know I forgot about it and then months later I was actually in Switzerland and I was waiting for my boyfriend at the time and I decided to walk into a bookstore and it was screaming at me that book was right there and it just kept calling to me and I was like oh I think that's the book that my friend talk to me about and I just picked it up and I was like I'm doing this and it was it was sort of like a come to Jesus moment it just it just felt right nice now I would imagine the reason you don't remember is because you're agent 33 <laughs> and they, they've wiped your memory or whatever. yes <laughs> probably there's probably some I, of that in there do I you doubt it do you remember because the f what would be the first exercise that you do the first exercise is list all the things that you want in life. And I just want to state that I was actually at a very low point in my life when I picked it up the first time. I was feeling very depleted. I, you know, didn't have a single credit in my acting career. And I had been going at it for three or four years. And I just sort of was giving up. And then I'll mention that a really close friend of mine was just booking all these roles. And it turns out now she's an interior designer. But you know, at the time it felt, I felt sort of that struggle of like just feeling envy and, and yeah. jealousy. And, and that was, I was not happy about myself just because also I didn't want to feel that way, obviously as she's my friend, but it was the truth. And so just, yeah, picking up this book sort of was life changing in, in that sense. And I can't remember your question now. And so my question <laughs> was, do you remember what the first thing was oh, you ever yes. wrote down? So writing your list of all the things that you want. And it's, it's so wild, Brian, I still have my first list and I could cry right now because everything on that list came true. I, I wanted to be on Grey's Anatomy. I listed uh, of all the shows in the world, right? Yeah. I listed Grey's Anatomy, Castle and NCIS because I knew the sort of the casting directors, I had met them through a workshop. So I had put those three on my list and 
I had no credits, obviously, at the time. And yep. so being on those shows felt like uh, almost uh, impossible. Yeah, a million miles away. Right. And um, just, just many, uh, you know, to have my green card. And it was such a struggle to get there. But, you know, sure enough, I got my green card. And just a bunch of different things that were on that list all came true. Ah, that's amazing. Now, do you remember the last thing that you've written down in uh, in a magic? The, you uh, mean the latest? Yeah, like the latest challenge that you had to do. I, I call them challenges. Challenges. But tasks, um, right? Well, you know, today is day one okay. of my 57th round. And you were, of course, in my gratitude list this morning. I'm just so grateful to be here. And uh, right. So the, the first exercise in the magic after listing all the things that you want is Every day, you're going to find 10 different things to be grateful for. And so, as you said, it can be challenging at first because you're just thinking, like, how many things can I possibly be thankful for? But when you start thinking about it and when you start practicing it all the time, I mean, you can be grateful for, you know, anything. This microphone, this this clock, and this cup, and it just becomes just you're, you're sort of just grateful to be surrounded by yeah. whatever is in front of you. I, you know, I've done it one time, all 28 days. Because I'm you, impressed. you were telling me about it, and I was like, done, I'm in, I'm going to go for it. And I loved it. But what was hard, for at least for me, is it starts out with, say, 10 things you're grateful for. And you're like, oh, I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for a roof over <laughs> my head. I'm thankful for, you know, a bank account with money. or You know, things like that. Like, you're going through the list, and it's easy. And then the next day is do it again, but you can't say any of the same 10 things. Right. Or, you know, like, and, and then they start to remove. You can't list something twice and that is when all of a sudden the the <laughs> gratitude muscles start to exercise yes. We're like this is difficult and then the other thing that i love is they always ask you why mm -hmm. so you could be like i'm thankful for food and it's like why now explain what type of food are you thankful for and right. why are you thankful or gra grateful for it um and i love that because then it started to you know get the wheels turning mm -hmm to be like, well, why am I grateful for my parents? And it's because I have friends that maybe I, I see them and they don't have both parents right. or, or something like that. And that's, you know, all of a sudden it starts to become real to be like, I am blessed, I am lucky. There's so much good things that I have in my life. And you have to get real specific. I think that's, that's the key there because obviously I've done this 57 times 28 and more probably, but you, you really have to get specific about even the bottle of water. You can be grateful for the capsule and why you're grateful because it's protecting your water or whatever it is. But, um, you know, grateful for your pinky nail and, and just really get real specific about each and every thing that you see before yeah. your very eyes. I now, think. you've gone through it multiple times. Is there a day of the 28 days that is your favorite? Yes. Oh, which day? It's the magical air that I breathe every time. Without a doubt, on that day, something magical happens. It's, it just is what it is because I think at the root of it, being grateful for the air that we breathe every day is just, it's just magical in every sense. We don't think about it. We don't think that we get air every day just to, to breathe and to remain alive, right? Got but it. once you start doing it, so it's, it's basically five deep breaths in, five deep breaths out and thinking of gratitude as not, not for your breathing, but for the air that you breathe. And it's, it's just a, a wonderful exercise that you do five times that day. And without a doubt, I've booked jobs on that day. I've fallen in love on that day. I've, it, it's just, yeah, it's always been a wild experience. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, you know, walk me through, your process for showing gratitude, you know, in, in, in work, uh, relationships, health, money, mm -hmm. career, you know, what, what have you learned from doing this so many times that has changed your perspective? Cause there's people listening right now that are like, yeah, I say please. And thank you, but right. it sucks that my boss hasn't given me a raise or I'm not making enough or, so-and-so has a nicer car than me that, you know, they, sure. there's a lot, especially with social media, the people are bombarded with all the high points in life. And there is pressure to be like, ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm not doing what everyone else is doing. You know, what is, you know, what, what is your kind of personal philosophy on gratitude now 
having gone through this so many times. It's so interesting because people think that because I've done so much gratitude that I never feel anger or never feel sad. And it's it's so far from the truth. I, th I do still believe you have to feel your emotions and, you know, really feel them out. And anger can, you know, be a great signal of what's going on in your life. Same with sadness. It's It's important to cry things out. But what gratitude will do is once you're done feeling those emotions, you can turn those emotions around. Um, so if you're having an issue, say, with a spouse and you're going through a crazy time where you just feel like you're not on the same page and you can find a million reasons why you shouldn't be together and just complain about them the whole time, it's when you start looking for things that you're grateful for in that person that things start changing and transforming. And I've, honestly, I, I've, you know, had many difficulties with relationships over the years and every time I then practice gratitude I even if I don't end up with this person or even cut a friendship off I, I can still find love in my heart and I think that is the thing with gratitude is you become a kinder person you don't find yourself criticizing people or talking behind people's backs and and whatnot yeah yeah you know uh, like three days ago I was at the gym in the morning I go early in the morning to, to get it done with and a guy working out right next to me um, starts struggling walking, falls down, mm. um, and it had a stroke. And we have to call the ambulance and oh coming through. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I'd never seen that happen before in my life. And they end up getting on the ambulance and going. And what's crazy is in that moment, you know, I, which I would say is probably a little bit of fear maybe of like, oh, man, like this is serious. Um, he left and I immediately stopped. And it was for me, it was it went right back to gratitude where I was like, man, I'm thankful that I've got a healthy body. I'm thankful that my legs, you know, work and I can run. And I called a couple people in my life and we're like, hey, I just want you to know, like, I'm grateful for you. And it's crazy because a lot of that, I feel like came from you. Like I learned that from you, I'm Maya. I'm so that you thankful were like, to hear that. Yeah, no. And I think that's what's so fascinating is that you have, I would say one of the things that that you've done, at least in, in my life or the times I've met you, or uh, that we've hung out, is that that is just shown through as, and, and I think it's such an invaluable, um, you know, principle or a, a kind of le life lesson to live by and can take you so far when you have, you know, that as a guiding star in your life. Absolutely. I, I will say, I don't feel like I've really had a terrible day in the last eight years. And that is such a rarity to hear someone say that. The reason being, it's just, you can turn everything around with gratitude. I just found out this year that my father has pancreatic cancer. I think you uh. know that. Um, so that's been just extremely hard. But I will say that since he's had, since he's been diagnosed, we have had the best relationship that we've ever had. We didn't talk for 15 years, but all of a sudden our connection got so deep and so strong just because we were able to both see the gratitude in this moment of being able to reconnect and know that our time is limited. Yeah. And so just that, you know, I, I think I taught him that too, luckily, and, and he's now living his best life, even though he's ill, but he's just grateful for every, you know, everything that is right with his life. Yeah. Now, I mean, I would say in life in general, you know, there's ups and downs, ebbs and flows. Sure. And there are times when people in life or, or in business will go through dark moments. Sure. You know, how do you apply gratitude during those moments? I think, as I said, while you're going through those moments, it is important to feel, you know, whatever you're going through and, if you're in a dark space, then be in that dark space, but just know that there's a way out. So whenever you're ready to get out of that space, then, you know, you might you might not be doing well in business, but just notice how maybe your wife is really present for you or you still have your health and you're healthy and you're breathing and, and you get to walk on this beautiful planet Earth. And, you know, so, so there's just so many ways to cope with it, but I, I certainly don't want to say, well, you know, brush it off and you can turn it around right away and not feel what you're feeling because I think, you know, that that would be a mistake not to be grateful also yeah. for the moment that you have that that is anger, that is darkness, that is sadness. Yeah. yeah. Do you think, 
that gratitude is an essential element for being successful at business? A hundred percent. I have no doubt about it. Okay. I, re I really have no doubt about it. I, I just know that the people that I know that have succeeded and that are very high up in the industry, they may not know that they have gratitude, but they are the people that are respectful and kind. And sure, you know, you'll meet a few people that are disrespectful and whatnot that are high up at, at the top, but there there's, they might be struggling because maybe they're very lonely in life yeah. and it, success doesn't necessarily mean happiness, but the people that are happy and have it all, they're the people that know that they have it all. So my next question would be, you know, is there a mix between gratitude and hard work? Oh, like, for sure. Do I they mean. do they both go hand in hand? Or I mean, you're you're very very talented at golf. Hey, uh, yeah. If yeah. I am just grateful and be like every ball, I am so grateful that this is going to go a hole in one, and I hit it, and then you come up and hit it. Uh, you know, am I going to beat you in a round of golf? You know what I believe in is if you are grateful and if you are thinking, for instance, with golf. I'm the best at golf. I'm going to do so good at golf. It'll it'll be more incentive for you to actually go and practice your golf versus someone that is like, oh, well, I suck anyway, so I'm not going to go. Oh, it's so, that's what a great advice. So I think just feeling that positivity and feeling like knowing that you're going to make it even in, in your business and just knowing without beyond a reasonable doubt that you are going to make it in life, that's what will get you there. And being grateful for it as if it's already happened, you yeah. know, and feeling it in your heart. It doesn't it doesn't help to just say, well, I've made it. I'm successful. I, I sometimes just jump up and down and and smile and create a whole scenario of me just like winning at life, you yeah. know, and, you know, it's, so far it's worked pretty great. And I've, I've heard the story and I think you can check it out on YouTube and, and see it. But Jim Carrey, when yes. he was starting out wrote a $10 million check for himself right. in his own name, signed it and put it in his wallet. And he had a date on it, I think, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of a goal, but he was like, no, I, like, I remember him talking. He was like, I knew that this is where I would end up. And I was grateful for it. And I was like, I'll cash it when I get to that point. Um, and I think it, it's fascinating because it, it ended up coming true. And he's like, they, in an interview, they ask him, is this a true story? There's a rumor. He's like, oh, it's 100% true. I, I, did, I, I did that. It's no surprise to me, honestly, because, I mean, I, I'm a big believer in vision boards. Yep. I don't know if you've um, – and on my vision board, the biggest thing on it was Netflix. And I just shot a Netflix movie. How dare you? Um, so I just – you know, and to me, just – I'm a little girl from Switzerland, yeah. you know, that grew up in the middle of nowhere – speaking French. And so for me to now know that I'm going to have this movie on Netflix is a dream come true. That's amazing. Now on that vision board, where is the Duke of Digital podcast? <laughs> <in your list? laughs> oh, it was right beneath it. Right below. Right beneath, right below. That, in my mind, I'm imagining like, that's it. where it's at. Or, you know, side by side. Yes, but right. uh, but honestly, this is all part of it, right? Yeah. Just, just the fact that I'm starting day one on my 57th round, yeah. I feel just here I am talking about what I'm feel most passionate about. Yeah. Okay. So do you think it's possible for a person to be too grateful? Absolutely not. I don't. And it's, it's interesting because, you know, I started this practice and to some people that are very negative and complain all the time, this all seemed very fake to them, right? Because they just couldn't see that I had actually become this person. And I struggled a lot with it because I care so much about what other people think. It's something that I'm working on. But then all of a sudden I realized like, oh, but they stick out like a sore thumb to me. Yeah. You know, people that are constantly complaining about their lives, that are constantly miserable. That's a choice, right? That's the story they're telling themselves. I'm choosing to live a beautiful life where I love the people that I surround myself with. And so all of a sudden I was like, well, I guess it's okay that they think that. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm I'm here living my best life. Do you know what I mean? Oh, for sure. You know, when I did the first, my first, you know, trip through the book, um, I remember thinking in my mind, oh, I'm a grateful person. Like, I'd probably be like a <laughs> 9 out of 10. Like, maybe right. I, I slip up here or there. And when I started reading the book, I was like, oh, wow, no, I'm, I'm like a 4 out of 10 or 5 out of 10. And I think it opened my eyes to a lot of areas where, 
I, w- I was like, man, oh, man, sure enough. Not. <laughs> I, I have, you know, Zig, I was a big fan of Zig Ziglar and he would always call it stinking thinking, which is, he was uh-huh. like, that's when you are, you know, you can't get out of a negative mindset or you're not grateful for the things that you have. And he was like, you've got to, you know, turn that around. Yeah. Uh, and a hundred percent, like going through the book, I was like, oh man, yeah, sure enough. I'm off on that one. And so it was just, for me, it was eye opening to be like, yeah, no, I'm, I've got a lot of room for improvement me in this. Me too, still now, just so you ah, know. Ah, dang it. Really? Yes. So that means I have to do 56? No, I, I still, but but the great thing about it is that now I'm hyper aware. Okay. I, I will find myself talking about even, you know, a really good friend's ex-boyfriend and start saying things, you know, about him that I'm like, oh, screw him, whatever. And I, I'm sort of like, oh, wow, wow, that was that was bad. Okay, reset. You know, but, but you, you, that's why you can never do too much gratitude because there's no such thing. Cause you can easily fall back to just complaining yeah. and talking negatively. It is about almost, someone. is that like the, the, the natural reaction yes, of people? I think it's like human nature to just be kind of you know, grumpy and like, uh, I don't things know if aren't it's great. human nature. I think we're all built differently, but I think it's so easy to see what's wrong with our world. Yeah. You know, and especially what's going on in politics and whatnot. And it's so easy to just have it right in front of your face. And I think what really helps is just to almost be brainwashed, sort of like my character on Agents of (laughs) S.H.I.E.L.D. And really just, it's all about practice. And I can't say that enough. Because you can think, oh, well, today I'm going to be grateful. And I'm going to say thank you. But meanwhile, you're not in it until you really dive in and practice what you preach. Oh. Now, you volunteer with the Midnight Mission mm-hmm. in Los Angeles. Yes. Which is a homeless shelter or yes. homeless organization? Well, it's that, that it's a rehab home? center for okay. ho- people living in homelessness. Yes. Okay. How do you feel working in experiences like that has helped widen your perspective on gratitude? It's everything, honestly. It, it just being around people that you know just have so much less than you do and it just being of service in general being of service is everything i've i've started becoming a part of now maybe six different <laughs> organizations uh, for people in homelessness to anti-bullying to anti-sex trafficking and i i just know that this is what fills me up right? Just being able to be there for people and being of service. And it's the most selfish thing. So it's not like, look at me, I'm doing all of this. It, it, it sort of is just the best form of therapy, the best type of medicine anyone could get, because it is entering that state of gratitude, right? Seeing people that are being bullied, seeing people that, you know, have gone through sex trafficking and, and that are living in homelessness, you see all of that and you think, wow, I have it good. I have it so good and let me do something in these people's lives so that they can have a better life. Yeah. I think perspective is a a huge thing that a lot of times people miss. You know, they're in, they're in their world that they know that they understand they're on social media where a lot of times they're shown content that's familiar with what they like or engage with. Um, And I think it's critical for, for business people or individuals to try to get in a, different area outside of their sphere of influence or what they're comfortable with or, you know, in another scenario where you can see people living differently or people that come that may have needs or struggles or have a completely different perspective than what you have and to see gratitude for that, to be like, I am grateful for to see a, through someone else's eyes, what the world looks like. Absolutely. And I think it's important, even what I've learned in doing so much work in that over the last also probably eight years is uh, just feeling that sense of empathy and going in the trenches with people versus sympathy where it's like, oh, you know, must suck to be down there. That's terrible. It's sort of like, no, this is we are all one, right? If someone's suffering, you're suffering too. And just really going there with them and being a part of them on that same level, you know? Yeah, for sure. You know, I would say in probably the the time of my life that was the hardest where everything felt like it was collapsing and crumbling 
And I think in those moments, which, you know, kind of go back to like those dark moments where just everything wasn't working and everything was falling apart. I had a good friend and I remember being, you know, we would, we would talk and I was like, dude, literally things cannot get any worse. And he was like, oh, that's the absolute <laughs> yeah. worst thing to say, which is the exact opposite <laughs> of gratitude, right? Right. And he and was like, man, mm -hmm. just watch. Something else will happen that'll be worse. You've just thrown that out. And sure enough, like the next day, oh. another something would happen. And I was like, oh, that is way worse. Like, man, yeah. that's, and, and it's just funny because it's in those moments that felt like a normal, okay reaction to say that, oh, things are horrible. They can't get any worse. And the right thing was, you know, to stop and be like, what am I grateful for right now in this moment? And now what happens is, you know, when something bad happens in my life, a lot of times I'll stop, sit for a minute and be like, let's go. Like, I'll be in a car, mm -hmm. I'll be walking somewhere. And I'm like, that's it. 10 things I'm grateful for. <laughs> and I'm literally yes, like, this Brian. is Maya's list. Like, here we go. <laughs> and what's crazy is how, how a healing or how, uh, like, it's like, I don't even know, like a warm, fuzzy blanket that comes over your soul. That's like, you know what, man, my car is still running today and it's not broken down. I've got a home that I'm going to, yeah. you know, like I've got, I was able to eat three meals today and there aren't people. And, and to be able to go through just 10 and if it's a really bad day, I'll do 20, I'll do 30 I'm and impressed. just keep going down. And I don't do it all the time like you, but I feel like. That's all you having, need sometimes. I mean, I'm OCD with it, but this sometimes no. that's all you need. And and that's that's a good point to give to your listeners. You don't have to commit an hour a day every day, but uh, just doing what you do is is enough. What benefits has gratitude, you know, brought to your life and to your career? Wow, well, my relationships are just so much better, first of all. That's, I would say, one of the biggest things. I, I have incredible friends, incredible people in my life, which I didn't necessarily back when I first started. Actually, not at all. In my health, my goodness, I mean, my health has never been better, and it was pretty bad, especially my mental health. I suffered a lot from anxiety. As I said, I grew up with severe OCD, and I was highly depressed on many levels, and just all of that is gone. I mean, I, you know, I still have OCD. Like I, I not, but I, I do believe that I transformed my OCD into actually practicing the gratitude. Mm. And so I've turned, you know, again, one of my biggest curse, if, if you will, into the biggest blessing of my life. Yeah. You know that when I, cause I went and volunteered at the midnight mission, mm -hmm. cause you said you worked and I was like, that's it. I'm going to go help. And so I, I went one day I uh, just by myself and was there for, I don't know, a couple of meals, I think lunch and dinner. And I arrived and they, they were busy and there was a bunch of groups there. And I was like, hey, I'm just by myself. Uh, I'm wondering if I could help. You know, I, I said to swing by and to talk to whoever was in charge. And the guy's like, yeah, come on back. And they put me in the back uh, freezer, like a big fridge area with a bunch of stuff in there. And they're like, this stuff is in here. It's kind of that some stuff's old. We're not sure. And they just kind of left me there. And for two hours... I reorganized oh everything gosh, in Brian. there. Like it was all lined up. Like, you they know, you the here's the task. cheese by dates. And I was just like, bah, bah, bah. Like I was in there just, mm. you know, having a good time. And the guy came back in and he was like, holy cow. He was like, never in the history of this entire organization <laughs> has this fridge been this organized. And I was just like, well, you just like, no one came to get me to bring me out. Like it was like, it was cold. I was wearing a jacket. But I was just in there like da 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 OCD. But in a you way. won't realize just how meaningful that was probably for someone to care this much about the fridge at the midnight mission. Yeah, yeah. You know, so just what you did there was probably just one of the greatest blessings that the midnight <laughs> yeah. mission has, yeah. has received. His eyes got really big when right. he came in. Like he was like, this is not normal. And also being behind the scenes, right? Yeah. So you're not out there feeding people and like glory me, look at me. Yeah. It's, it's sort of like something that's behind the scene that will help so much, yeah. you know, and, and I think that's really beautiful. All right. Now, if, you know, as we kind of wind down, if Rhonda was listening to this. Oh, Rhonda. And Good old Rhonda. Have you talked to Rhonda? Have you ever met her? I haven't, but I thank her every end of each round. And if not more, I, I always look at her picture at the end of the book that's right here. Aww. And um, I always just thank her from the bottom of my heart because she has transformed my life. And 
I couldn't be more grateful for her. Is there anything you would say to Rhonda? Because when this is done. Beyond thank you. Uh, yeah, beyond thank you. Any questions you would ask her or anything you would say? I, I wonder if she's done it as many times as I have. Oh, I wonder if there's anyone in the world that has done more than 57 rounds. It's a challenge. I, it is a challenge. I, 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 you know, I always think, oh, I'm going to take a break now from yep. the magic. And the longest I've ever lasted, I believe, is like a couple months because you just find yourself setting back into old habits. As we said, like yeah. maybe our just our our zone where we feel comfortable is in that space of negativity yep. and feeling sorry for ourselves. And I just now that I know the magic that happens with doing this book, I can't go back. Yeah. I can never go back. So I know that this is probably going to be the rest of my life, just being grateful and living with Rhonda on the gratitude path. I so I love it. Can I can I hold one of these? Yes, books up? hold the old I mean, one. Which this one's the, the old one? Which I one's think, the original? Oh, this this one's the original right oh, there. Oh man. So Rhonda, if you can <laughs> see this, look at this book. It <laughs> is she is it not has joking. Lived. This it, is on my this is my first of four books it now. Really? I should, this yep, looks yes. like a manuscript from like it really does. It's ancient <laughs> Egypt or something. <laughs> I know, I know. It lasted a while and all of them are like that. Even my newest one. I love it. Um there's nothing I can do about it. It's just it just I bring them everywhere I go it's my bible you know oh, it's fantastic all right any final words that you would give to other people who are listening who are business owners or they're wanting to get into the entertainment industry or anything the advice you would just give to the world this is this is your shot wow that's a this is yeah this is deep i would say practicing gratitude is work at first and it can be work throughout your life, but it's work that you will end up loving and that will just create abundance in your life in every way. And it'll bring you this sense of peace and joy and happiness that you've never felt before. And there's a reason why I, I keep doing those rounds is because just magic is forced to rise. I, I Miracles happen, I don't want to say daily, but at least weekly. Yeah. And... I get great news all the time. And I know that even in your line of work or business owners and entrepreneurs, you need gratitude in, in order to expand and grow and build great relationships with people. So I just, I mean, it's a tool that you, you can't go wrong. Just, just try it out. You can't go wrong. Nothing bad is going to happen if you start practicing gratitude. Oh, I love, and it costs you nothing to Absolutely try. nothing. It costs nothing. Nothing to try. Yes. Oh, it, it, wow. It's been, I got little goosebumps all over. I do, Maya. too. I do, too. Oh, well, thank you so much for being thank here you. today. For, for the people who are listening, um, if you haven't tried the magic, you should give it a go. Uh, it's 28 days. Uh, I recommend it. Maya recommends I it. I strongly recommend you it, yes. Got to get out there. It's, it's an essential trait or uh, a muscle that you've got to work out when it comes to to business ownership. But I wanted to thank you so much, Maya. Thank you for being so much. And and wow, you were born for this, Brian. Oh, yeah? I'm so impressed. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I feel like what comes after that is like, will you have a face for radio or something like that? <laughs> no way. No way. You're a looker. Ah, that's great. All right. Well, thank you very much, Agent 33. Thank um, you. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful to have you here. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for listening to the Duke of Digital podcast with Brian Meert. Want to network with other business owners? Join our exclusive group at facebook.com slash groups slash Duke of Digital. Fancy the Duke? Leave a five-star review on your favorite podcast app and you could be mentioned on the show. The Duke of Digital was produced by Advertise Mint and recorded in Hollywood, California. All rights reserved.